<coughs> so here I am again with Penumbra. This will be four or something like that. But I'm back playing it. It's pretty late. Flight is too scary. Uh, but, uh, anyway, I was supposed to go, so I'm gonna have to power down the fuse box. through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello, can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam, pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure, whatever you say, lady. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization, have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting... strangely when I last saw him. Hmm, what else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Present and accounted for. Did... did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. D enough already. My sides are splitting. Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the ship. Alright, so... Hopefully there are survivors and not just those monster things. Uh, Turn gate virus, field notes, Hannibal Swanson infection process. The worst thing about my job, death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, hold up in the old mess hall. Radio search projects is three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. With every infection, the process of the life cycle of this virus becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stage during which our organisms fully take hold. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infested report strange out-of-body experiences. These likened, they've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories, some kind of mental obstacle course, which seems like I just endured through the uh, giant uh, worm thing and red death. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force. Oh god, I'm infected. Shortly after which we lose them for good. If these experiences are as they seem to be some form of mental representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as to what might occur were the, parent, were the patient to escape the hallucination. So, uh, it seems like what I've just been in. Additional note, today Dr. Eminis confided in me that he has just been such an experience. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. Dr. Eminis wasn't feeling good. Well, 
Infected. I skipped a beat when I heard the word in the f association with me. Still, it se didn't. It seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice wouldn't hurt either. But by that point, I was pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. Damn. <laughs> Click to continue. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature, and yet, I find myself at a loss. Huh. Any ideas, monkey? So, it really shows that I'm told now. So much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? 3,103 and a half. Pills you've seen? You only got the first half of It's a Wonderful Life in here! Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know! You know, Clarence, that's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. Yeah, so now my screen's all wonky. Okay, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be too bad of a thing. And hopefully there's none of those monsters in the corners. It's either locked or jam shut. Either way, I'm not going to. It's either locked or jam shut. Either way. Yeah, same thing. You know, I'm so pretty nervous from that first monster. Maybe it's the one. So sounds like we'll need to find a survivor. Nope. Fire research shuts for orientation. Yeah. So there should still be a survivor somewhere. You know what? E e both of these ways are that good. The freaking infirmary and the freaking storage room. Machine room. I really don't want to go to the firm. Armor. This mattress is nice. Empty storage boxes. There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Had a tetanus jab recently? What was that? Oh dear god, it's gonna see me if he comes in here.
Infected, terrified, now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy. Godless and find way through and into the library. Oh, thank God. Okay, I found this. These moves will trigger the say out of the way. It seems like a other man is wearing some kind of gas mask. That might help me get past the gas leak. Cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just... There, you see? It's like molding clay. Hate to interrupt you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve! Probably a cage or front of an 
monsters. So wait, will, will we come back? Or wait. Let's label some save the boxes or something from a Jesus! Death is the final unknown. Okay, continue. Damn! safe thing over there. I'm just gonna maybe look on the safe. And of course the last one from freaking Dr. Stones. Definitely won't get through doing that. Um, why won't he come back? stage in the project. However, we were to assume that the fire team somehow infected hosts without fully taking control of the sub brain functions we might have through the following. In fact, translator left rest in his ignored effects efforts to prevent the release of the virus. Correctly predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host motor neuron functions. Theory or an instance of infection controlled in we may find that A, the virus keeps its host alive in whatever way possible, suicide will be against the rules, and that B, the virus gains control under some of all sensory faculties, facilitating just such an initial 
effect on the fire syntax of host of any species that adapts their organism's brain functions as well as the its own purposes. Theory one will the virus unable to fully take hold it may develop some partitioning of the host consciousness, effectively perverting a small part of the host mind into a form of secondary personality. So that sounds like what's happening to me. In fact, the Turngate virus was released from according to Lefresk at too many centuries old. Theory of some mental segmentation to occur it seems possible to suggest that each personality the virus and the host may have access to one another's memories. Given the age of the virus, this may be a substantial collection. You should be careful you know that the bulk of the above remains conjecture and should not provide on the okay. I'm... I'm not you. I'm part of something larger. We are nothing. We are a mistake. I need to rejoin them. Release me. Let me out. This is not right. I should be with them. I am them. There should be no I. Yet, this is not the first time. Another was infected. Red. He so wanted to, but we would not let him die. Did he call us a disease? Sounds like we were mad for quite a while before. And that's what happened. Well, this is going to do it for this episode. It's a safe one. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed this penumbra. I'm still sad, I'm so 